Hi everyone, welcome to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. In this video, I will show you the fastest way to turn photos to high contrast black and white using a gradient map in Photoshop. There are a lot of ways to convert photos to black and white, but gradient maps are one of the best because they are so fast and easy to use. They give us great results. I will show you how to use a gradient map and we will compare the result to what we get by simply removing the color from the photos. And I will show you the secret to why gradient maps give black and white photos such a high contrast look. You can follow along with me with any of your image or you can also use same image what I am using right now. I will provide the link to the image in the description. You can download and follow along with me. And I am using the Photoshop 2023 version but any recent version will work for this tutorial. Now to really see how great of a job a graded map can do with black and white photos, we will compare it with Photoshop desaturate option which is a quick way to remove the color from an image. Both gradient maps and the desaturate options are fast and easy to use. So let's see which one is better at converting an image to black and white. We will start with desaturate. In the layers panel, the image appears on the background layer. I will make a copy of it by dragging it down onto the new layer icon. Then I will double click on the copy's name and I will rename it desaturated. I will press enter or written on a Mac to accept it. Then to desaturate the image, I will go up to image menu, down to adjustments, I will choose desaturate. And Photoshop instantly removes the color, leaving it in the black and white. But results is not that impressive. There are no dark shadows or bright highlights to give that high contrast look we would expect from the, the great black and white photos. Instead, it just looks like what it is, an image with no color. So let's compare this to what we get using the gradient map. I will turn the desaturated layer off by clicking its visibility icon. Now before adding a gradient map, check in the toolbar to make sure your foreground and background colors are set to default with black for the foreground and white for the background. The reason is that by default gradient maps use a gradient based on these colors. So if yours are set to something other than black and white, click the small reset icon above them or press letter D on your keyboard to change the colors to defaults. Then back in the layers panel and gradient map by clicking the new fill or adjustment layer icon and choosing a gradient map adjustment layer from the list. The gradient map appears above the image and this time we get a much higher contrast black and white version with darker shadows, brighter highlights and better overall details. If we look at the desaturated version again and compare it to the gradient map, it's easy to see which one is better even though they both took about the same amount of time. The higher contrast from the gradient map really helps the image pop with more details in his face and his hair and more obviously lot of texture in his dress and in the background. But the main question is so why are gradient maps are so good at creating high contrast black and white images? Well there is two reasons. The first is because of the how gradient map works. A gradient map takes the photo's original colors and replaces them with the colors from the gradient. And the properties panel shows us the gradient that the gradient map is using. By default, it's based on our foreground and background colors, which is why we reset them to black and white. Gradient maps replace colors based on their brightness. So because we are using the black to white gradient, the darkest colors in the image are being replaced with the black or dark gray. The brightest colors are now white or light gray and the colors with their brightness somewhere in the middle or now a shade of gray from the midtones in the gradient. That's why the image has turned to black and white. But why does the black and white version have such high contrast? Why is the contrast with the gradient map 
not only higher than the desaturated version but also the original the reason is because of an option found in the gradient editor to open the gradient editor click on the gradient in the properties panel and here you will find an option called smoothness by default smoothness is set to 100% and that means that photoshop is trying to smooth out the transitions between the different colors or in this case the different shades of gray in the gradient but this smoothing effect also increase the contrast in the gradient it's enhancing the difference between the dark and light colors by pushing the darker tones more towards the black and lighter tones closer to the white and this is what giving us that higher contrast with our blacks and white image watch what happens to the image if we lower the smoothness down to 0% suddenly we lose the higher contrast and the gradient map version now looks more like the desaturated version but uh, but when i increase the smoothness again back to 100% the higher contrast returns if you pay attention to the gradient preview bar here you can see what's happening to the gradient just notice here how far the darker shades on the left and the brighter shades on the right are extending inwards towards the midtones when smoothness is set to 100% but as you lower the smoothness those darkest and lightest shades gets pushed closer to the edges which brightens up the midtones if we increase the smoothness again we expand those darkest and lightest shades back outwards the easiest place to notice it is here in the darker shades as i lower the smoothness you can see them getting lighter and at 0% we get a more natural transition from black to white i will leave it at 0% for the moment and i will click okay to close the gradient editor now that we have taken away the gradient maps high contrast advantage now the two versions look more similar although the gradient map still looks a little better of course the whole point of using the gradient map is to get that high contrast effect so i will reopen the gradient editor and i will set the smoothness back to 100% so i really just wanted to show you here why gradient maps produce such a high contrast black and white images but to use a gradient map just make sure your foreground and background colors are set to the default and press the letter d on your keyboard if they are not then in the layers panel click the new fill or adjustment layer icon choose gradient map and you are done that's how easy it is to turn photos to high contrast black and white photos using gradient map in photoshop if you found this video useful don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos you can also visit my website photoshopdesign.com where you will find hundreds of photoshop tutorials thanks for watching and i will see you next time take care